Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio. I'm here with James Jacob Prash in England. Is the body of Christ and the bride of Christ the same who are the ones invited to the Lamb's Supper in Revelation 19.9? The way we understand this relationship is based on Ephesians chapter 5 in large part. The husband is head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. That is the relationship, okay? They become one flesh. Your wife's body is your body, and your body becomes her body. The two become one. This reflects something about the Godhead, the oneness or the achtut in Hebrew that takes place within the triunity of the Godhead. Well, should, you wouldn't abuse your own body, so don't abuse your wife's. You wouldn't. <laughs> you know, that kind of thinking. The way that a wife's body is her husband's body and her husband's body is her body, that reflects how the church is the body of Christ. The bride is his body, just as in a human marriage. You have your bride, but once you consummate the marriage, the two become one flesh. So too, the church is the bride of Christ. But an intimacy will take place at the marriage supper of the Lamb that we read about in the Song of Solomon and so forth and the book of Revelation, where the bride's body and will be his body. It's, it's, it's the body of Christ, the same as the wife's body, it's the body of the husband. To understand this relationship, we have to understand human marriage and particularly Christian marriage.